There's a wasp nest. Oh, what the fuck? They're gonna sting your ass. What are you doing? Fuck them. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> it's been sitting too long. Yeah, I'll go get a strap. So we got my wagon pushed in, already got the motor and tranny resting in there without the cylinder head. It only took us like 15 minutes. It was really easy. Everything lined up easily. So that went smooth. And now we just got to hook up the wiring harness and throw the cylinder head on. And the goal for today is to see if we can start it up and possibly pull it out of the garage under its own power. So we'll see how far we get. As long as we have all the parts, we should be good. So we're going to get to it. Yeah, we probably won't have much time in it at all. It's going together really easy so far. So, we're gonna get it done. All right, so we got everything put together, got the head on, it's all torqued down, everything's plugged in, ready to go, and don't know where my original battery went, so I'm just borrowing the one out of the MR2, and we're gonna try to fire it up and see if it, no coolant, see if it runs. Oh yeah, there's no coolant, so not gonna let it warm up if it does start. But, yeah, hopefully the timing's good. We'll figure it out. Yeah, I should probably take that off. It's always been like really close. Yeah, give her a crank and see if it fires. Here you go. needs a jump start your turbo is not spinning yeah it's whatever it's fucked probably I just do not trust that oil pressure gauge because I got a new sensor for it but it's still acting all stupid hmm you can unplug that oil feed line just to make sure there's pressure yeah so my oil gauge is acting a little funny don't know why I got a new uh, sending unit but it still does the same thing it did before I'll show you guys what it does later, but just to be sure, we took off the oil feed and put it into this cup and made sure there was pressure coming through. There's definitely a lot of oil pressure coming through there. I also did shim the oil pump, so it definitely should have a lot of oil pressure. Hopefully that's not an issue. So it did fire up right away pretty easily. Only five seconds of cranking and it fired up. And right now I'm gonna get the radiator on there, get some coolant in it, and then I'll actually be able to let it warm up fully, make sure everything's all good, and then Probably let it idle for a while and then drain the oil and put some fresh oil in there right away and then start breaking it in. But she does run. The Wago is officially alive again. So I'm pretty stoked right now. It's definitely been too long since the Wagos have been down. So we'll see. Charlie's is next.
So today we got the wagon all back together pretty much. It still needs a few things, but it does run and drive. Uh, sorry if we didn't film too much of it. We were just trying to get it all put together as fast as we can. And we definitely got it done pretty quick. So I'm really happy with it. She is running again. Hopefully everything checks out and I'm gonna give it a new oil change really soon and then put some miles on it, break it in, and I'm probably not gonna put any of the intercooler pipes on for a good amount of time. I don't wanna make any boost on this thing, make sure it's all broken in really good and see if this motor will actually last for me. But yeah, once it gets all broken in, I will definitely put all the intercooler stuff back on and we'll take it back to the dyno, try to make some power, probably lay down about 300 horsepower again, about where it was at. I'll be happy with that for right now. So I'll just be really happy to have my wagon back so I can drive it around. I need a, I need a daily again, because also our minivan took a shit on us recently and it's actually at my parents' house right now because the transmission is pretty fucked. So we're gonna have to look into that. But yeah, got the wagon done tonight. So that's pretty much it for today. So we'll see you in the next video.